I think they turned out fabulous. My name's Barry Rose. Uh, I'm an artist here in Denver. Today, we're gonna learn the process and do a tile. I'll take it back to my studio, fire it at 2,150 degrees Fahrenheit, and melt what looks like liquid that we'll put on today. It'll turn into the glass it really is. The theme was picked because uh, people at a hospital are in, often in transition, birth, end of life issues, changes in, in life, and uh, so the four seasons represent change. Seasons change and so do we is the title. It also uh, is a sculptural form with two slabs of concrete, but there's an open space in the middle and you can actually walk through. And so you can make this transition to a different season of your life if you care to. You can enjoy visiting back or you can go forward. So that's the artistic idea. Behind it. Those black lines will show because when this glaze melts and goes down, the black stays up. This project definitely builds community by having a number of people involved in developing the community garden. Um, it's word of mouth. As people are part of the project, they tell other people. Um, there's an excitement about it. Uh, you can feel the energy just in this room alone. It's better than I expected it to be. The role the community plays in this piece is very important. They supply the creative juice, the oomph, the creativity, the action, the fun, the surprise, the uh, energy. I didn't expect it was going to be this much fun. <laughs> it's a creative process and they bring that energy, also their generosity. To participate, to give back to the community. It's definitely a different outlet. I think it's soothing, um, it's a relaxing, it's different than being in the business environment and there's a lot of great people here that you get to work with and talk to as you're doing the project. There's adults as well as children participating in this, so it really shows that we have something to, as a togetherness for the group. What do you think? Terrific. Terrific. That's what I think too. If I take my kids to that sculpture and say, I printed that little tile there, that's me, but it's a part of this big thing. It turned out nice. I was surprised because we put the green or the blue over the black and it still came through. They just go at it and it comes out of them and they're so innocent, I just love it. I love when they just look up at you and they're listening to you and learning from you. <laughs> With those little eyes, it's so beautiful. And uh, then they, they accomplish something that they didn't necessarily think they could. And they're just uh, joyous at that point. So. I thought it came out better than it would. <laughs> awesome. Okay. This one looks like he, the party hat went off and it got pop spilled on it. Looks like a good party to me. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> Better than I thought it would. <laughs> Just beautiful. Hummingbirds competing for the nectar in the red flower. Couldn't be nicer. I thought it turned out pretty good. Oh, no. But I can do this with my time and uh, help uh, organizations that I believe in. So it really is, is a wonderful thing for me. This is face to face. Uh, it builds community. We're accomplishing something together, all of us. And it's a bonding thing that happens. It's sewn up when, when the mural is done and they see the mural. It's a pride we have in ourselves and each other. That's nice.